So I get a lot of questions from a number of different people asking me, you know, what do you do when you're out of court? Let's just say you've had your trial, you lost that. You had your direct appeal, you lost that. You went through post-conviction relief and you lost that. Then you did a federal habeas petition and you lost that. You know, so what is next? You know, what else can you do to have somebody review your conviction? Well, it's not easy. Um, once you've used your traditional legal remedies, it can be really difficult to get back into court. Um, typically what I advise my clients to do though is to start off with a really vigorous investigation or reinvestigation back into your case. So I, you know, I, I tend to tell clients that what they should do is just take some money, hire an investigator to kind of go back and review everything, to re-interview witnesses, just to see if there's anything in the case that was not disclosed, anything that never came to light, that, that should have come to light. And then, I mean, sort of based on what an investigator can find, I mean, there are a couple of different potential remedies for getting back into court. So, for example, let's just say there's some new evidence that came up in your case. You might have a claim um, under 29B asking for a new trial based on after-discovered evidence. It's not always easy, but I mean, that, that would be one potential route. Um, another way might be to ask the South Carolina Supreme Court to exercise its original jurisdiction by uh, filing a state habeas petition. It's a really high standard of review though. You have to show a manifest injustice in your case. Another way you might be able to get review of your case is if you have a claim of actual innocence. Um, in those cases, you may be able to ask the federal courts to excuse the one-year statute of limitations, and you may be able to you know, go through what's called like the innocence gateway. So those are just kind of like three ways sort of off the top of my head, and this is really kind of what I advise a number of my clients about. But I mean, one, one thing that is pretty clear is that it's going to have to be something new. It's going to, be, have to, it's going to have to involve something that the court has not seen before. And that's why I think kind of the first step in any sort of um, you know, way of challenging your conviction once you're finished with those traditional legal remedies is going to involve intensive reinvestigation of your case. Now, if you have any questions about this, please feel free to give our office a call. We can be reached at 803-445-1333, and we'll be more than happy to discuss with you what the, you know, the circumstances are in your particular case. Thank you. Thank you.